James the son of Zebedee, the elder brother of John and a relative of our Lord, for his mother Salome was cousin German to the Virgin Mary. It was not until ten years after the death of Stephen that the second martyrdom took place. For no sooner had Herod Agrippa been appointed governor of Judea than with a view to ingratiate himself with them, he raised a sharp persecution against the Christians and determined to make an effectual blow by striking at their leaders. The account given us by an eminent primitive writer, Clemens Alexandrinus, ought not to be overlooked. That as James was led to the place of martyrdom, his accuser was brought to repent of his conduct by the apostles' extraordinary courage and undauntedness, and fell down at his feet to request his pardon, professing himself a Christian, and resolving that James should not receive the crown of martyrdom alone. Hence they were both beheaded at the same time. Thus did the first apostolic martyr cheerfully and resolutely receive that cup which he had told our Saviour he was ready to drink. Philip was born at Bethsaida in Galilee and was first called by the name of Disciple. He labored diligently in Upper Asia and suffered martyrdom at Heliopolis in Phrygia. He was scourged, thrown into prison and afterwards crucified, AD 54. Matthew, whose occupation was that of a toll gatherer, was born at Nazareth. He wrote his gospel in Hebrew, which was afterwards translated into Greek by James the Less. The scene of his labors was Parthia and Ethiopia, in which latter country he suffered martyrdom, being slain with a halberd in the city of Nadaba, AD 60. James the Less, he was elected to the oversight of the churches of Jerusalem was the author of the epistle ascribed to James in the sacred canon. At the age of 94, he was beat and stoned by the Jews, and finally had his brains dashed out with a fuller's club. Matthias, of whom less is known than of most of the other disciples, was elected to fill the vacant place of Judas. He was stoned at Jerusalem and then beheaded. Andrew was the brother of Peter. He preached the gospel to many Asiatic nations. But on his arrival at Edessa, he was taken and crucified on a cross, the two ends of which were fixed transversely in the ground, hence the derivation of the term St. Andrew's Cross. Peter Among many other saints, the blessed apostle Peter was condemned to death and crucified, as some do right at Rome. Hegesippus said that Nero sought matter against Peter to put him to death which when the people perceived they entreated Peter with much ado that he would fly the city. Peter, through their importunity, at length persuaded, prepared himself to avoid. But coming to the gate, he saw the Lord Christ come to meet him, to whom he, worshipping, said, Lord, whither dost thou go? To whom he answered and said, I am come again to be crucified. By this, Peter, perceiving his suffering to be understood, returned into the city. Jerome saith that he was crucified, his head being down and his feet upward, himself so requiring, because he was, he said, unworthy to be crucified after the same form and manner as the Lord was. Jude, the brother of James, was commonly called Thaddeus. He was crucified at Edessa, AD 72. Bartholomew preached in several countries, and having translated the Gospel of Matthew into the language of India, he propagated it in that country. He was at length cruelly beaten and then crucified by the impatient idolaters. Thomas, called Didymus, preached the gospel in Parthia and India, where, exciting the rage of the pagan priests, he was martyred by being thrust through with a spear. Simon, surnamed Zelotes, preached the gospel in Mauritania, Africa and even in Britain, in which latter country he was crucified, AD 74. John the beloved disciple, was brother to James the Great. The churches of Smyrna, Pergamus, Sardis, Philadelphia, Laodicea, and Thyatira were founded by him. From Ephesus, he was ordered to be sent to Rome, where it is affirmed he was cast into a cauldron of boiling oil. He escaped by miracle without injury. Domitian afterwards banished him to the Isle of Patmos, where he wrote the Book of Revelation. Nerva, the successor of Domitian, recalled him, he was the only apostle who escaped a violent death.